The University of Saskatchewan was founded in 1907 and it's also known as the U of S. It is ranked number 14 in the medical slash doctoral ranking in Canada. For the weather, Saskatchewan summers are usually warm and dry. High temperatures range from 15 degrees Celsius in May to the mid 30s in July and August. Saskatchewan averages the most sunshine in any Canadian province, but the nights do tend to be cold. Winters normally begin in November. Temperatures generally remain below the freezing point. Basically, just know that it gets really cold. The winters can really suck if you're not willing to brave the cold and go outside. The food bar scene has been on a steady incline for the past couple of years, so there's a bunch of decent restaurants and bars around. In terms of, in terms of transport, um, you really can travel around the city without a car. Basically, public transportation sucks, so that's another reason for you to live on campus. Constant delays are normal with the buses and Union and City are always having trouble with each other. And we also got some information that the crime rate is really high so you might want to be careful. Nothing's really going to happen to you but just make sure you're, care you're careful. On a more positive note, the cost of living in Saskatchewan is pretty cheap and rent is decently priced. The cost of living is pretty decent so you will be able to afford accommodation. Rent is cheap, housing is cheap. Living generally, food and everything that you need in Saskatchewan is relatively cheap. And in Saskatchewan, there's plenty of jobs, so finding a job would not be a problem for you. Guys, Saskatoon is beautiful. It is really beautiful. Saskatoon is the city in which the University of Saskatchewan is located in, just so you know. And it is a relatively small city with a relatively small community and the people are generally nice and pretty polite. And it is easier to make friends on campus in Saskatchewan. So if you can't afford it, you should really try to live on campus instead of off campus. And we've also heard that people in Saskatchewan like to make clicks. Whether that's true or not, we don't necessarily know. But if you really want to make friends, we advise that you do live on campus. Overall, it's a pretty good city and it's really beautiful in the summer. And it's very cold in the winter, but you should try to keep yourself occupied. And just so you know, in the city, most of the things are concentrated downtown. So you might have to move, you might have to go downtown to actually access anything that you need. Things I'm referring to are restaurants, movie theaters, malls, and what have you. The University of Saskatchewan is one of Canada's top research universities. For international students, the fees range from $15,000 to $21,000. And for textbooks and other supplies that you might need, you'll be looking at a budget of $1,000 to $2,000. But I'm just going to be real with you here. We have noticed that a lot of students do express a lot of displeasure with the way the school is run, especially students in the postgraduate programs. But then, just because some people have said that they do not like their experience in the school does not necessarily mean that you won't either. So guys, there's just so much information and the information is frankly too much for me to put in one video about the University of Saskatchewan. However, if you do have specific questions about the University of Saskatchewan, our contact information will be displayed on screen. And on our website, you will see the information that you need to follow to be able to contact us. So get your questions ready and send them to us. So if you have any comments, suggestions, or ideas, do feel free to put them in the comment section below. So don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and tell, tell your friends about this video, friends who you think might need the information on here. And if you do have any other additional information about the University of Saskatchewan, you can put them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video. We appreciate your time.